Hi, my name is Akshya and today I'm going to talk about some MDM upgrade best practices and some frequently asked questions. So I'm going to cover the two upgrade types today, the common uh, steps involved in an upgrade process for MDM, the best practices and some FAQs. So there are two types of upgrade processes in MDM. One is the clean upgrade and one is the in-place upgrade. Uh, so here I'm talking only about the upgrade. For example, if you already have MDM installed, uh, say 10.3, and you wanna upgrade it to a higher version or even uh, applying hotfix would mean uh, essentially you're upgrading. So I'm not talking about the install where you're freshly installing MDM uh, in an environment where there is no MDM. So upgrade itself, there are two types. Uh, one is the clean upgrade, which is our recommended uh, approach always, and one is an in-place upgrade. So what are the differences is in a clean upgrade, uh, you, you ha already have your uh, CMX system and all your ORSs, right? So you basically take a clone of the master database, which is your CMX system, and all your uh, ORS, operational reference stores, like the MDM sample or the CMX ORS or the AWS database if you have ActiveOS from the existing environment say like suppose you have 10.3 right so from 10.3 you will take a clone of all these uh, ORSs you will copy that clone to a new environment where there is a database running and or in the same database you will take a clone and you will run the hub store uh, upgrade right so the hub store upgrade is, are those uh, commands that have sip and uh, upgrade master system or upgrade uh, schema. So those are the up, hub store upgrade commands. You will run those upgrade commands. And uh, this is for the database. And for the app server, which is your JBoss or WebLogic or WebSphere, you will um, install, um, you can use an existing one, but basically in a clean upgrade, you will take the MDM, binaries and you'll set it up in a new environment where you will typically install the hub server and process server again um, so after upgrade both your old version of mdm which is your 10 3 will still be present in that uh, x environment and the new version will also be present in the new environment so it is a combination of both um, an install and an upgrade because you're technically installing your hub and process server freshly but you're keeping your same uh, uh, ORS or CMX system by taking a clone. So that is a clean upgrade. And the second one is the in-place upgrade. The in-place upgrade is, let's say you have that same 10.3 environment, but you do not want to, you do not want to keep the 10.3 environment and you're okay losing the 10.3 environment. So it, in the in-place, you will do the in-place upgrade where in the same machine, you will, um, uh, rewrite or technically overwrite the existing 10.3 with the new version. So uh, you 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 can use the same machine itself for the in-place upgrade technically, so it will override what was already existing. But if in even an in-place upgrade, you need to keep in mind that, um, for example, you have 10.3 and you are doing an in-place upgrade to 10.4, you can still do that. But uh, this would mean that some of the components uh, like app server version or database version may not be um, supported or may not be matching with the prerequisites as mentioned, the PAM for 10.4. So for example, if you're 10.3, uh, you're using Oracle 11, but our PAM says in 10.4, only Oracle 12 is supported. You cannot use the same um, uh, Oracle 11 to install, right? So you have to upgrade your database. 2 or 12, uh, your ORS will all be intact, but it'll be like you upgrade your database from 11 to 12. And similarly for apps, so for example, if you use JBoss 6.4 in 10.3 uh, and you're going to 10.4, we support JBoss 7.1. So in that case, you'll have to upgrade your JBoss and then do the 10.4 uh, upgrade. You can still use the same machine to do the in-place upgrade, but you just have to make sure that you are keeping a uh, check of the PAM of the, for the database or the JDK or the uh, app server versions before you do the in-place upgrade. So here is the example, right? So the first thing is you need to figure out from which version you are in and which version you're going to. So for example, you're doing an upgrade from 10.3 hotfix 3 to 10.4 hotfix 2. So on the left, if you see, um, 
these are the Oracle versions we support. And on the right, uh, if you notice, they are kind of similar. Uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, if you're if you're on any of one of the DB Oracle versions on 10.3, it'll still work for 10.4 hotfix too. Similarly, for uh, App Server. Uh, it says JBoss 7.1, but in 10.4 Hotfix 2, you also support 7.3 and 7.2. So you can move if your company doesn't um, allow 7.1 anymore. And also the Oracle GRE is 1.8 here for both uh, Red Hat and Oracle. But here um, we support Zulu as well, additionally. And for Zulu, if you want to, and for some many organizations, Oracle is kind of like uh, due to security concerns or license issues, they want to move to Azul. So in that case, you can when you move to 10 for Hotfix 2. But in that case, we will provide the Azul Zulu. So please read these pointers, sub pointers 21 and 50. Uh, we will support it and we will give you the Azul. So the basically um, shipping team will provide you the JDK for that. Um, and then for example, if you're using WebLogic 12.2.1.4, and 12.2.1.3 supported here, 12.2.1.2. So you don't have to worry about uh, updating your app server for WebLogic. And similarly for uh, WebSphere, it's fine. And if you're on 7.1 for 10.3 and you still want to use 7.1, that's okay too. Um, and then next, if you have ActiveOS, uh, if you don't have ActiveOS, you can skip this. But if you do, then you need to ensure that you have uh, install you are installing 9246 so this 9246 will be given as part of the shipping request that you raise for the 104 binaries so make sure that you have extracted um, the activos folder and during post install it will ask you whether you want to install activos or not in that case just say yes and provide the 9246 installer folder Okay. And then for Elasticsearch, right? So if Elasticsearch is an option. So if you do have it in your environment and you want to upgrade it, we support additionally S is support and C is certified. We also support 623. So you can still leave it at 623 or you can move to 686. Uh, that is up to you. So. And then uh, some of the things to note for an upgrade process is for example you are upgrading to a major or minor version of mdm for example uh that's that's why i said right so 10.3 hotfix 3 is a major version and 10.4 is another major version so if you're doing an upgrade from 10.3 to 10.4 we recommend a clean upgrade approach over an in-place upgrade and for example, and if you're upgrading to any version of MDM where application server has to be updated. So for example, here you have 7.1 and you're moving to 7.3, the app server version is updated, right? So in this case, also we suggest um, doing a clean upgrade over because some of the properties, uh, the standalone full file related properties for JBoss might change. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, uh, and in place won't be recommended, but a clean upgrade would be recommended. And if you're going to upgrade to a hotfix for the install version where App Server does not need to be updated to a major version, you can either do clean or in place upgrade. So for example, what this means is if they're saying you want to upgrade from 10.4 base to 10.4 hotfix 2 or hotfix 3, uh, just applying hotfix, you can either use clean upgrade or in place upgrade. So in these first two cases alone, when you're trying to upgrade to a major version, a clean upgrade is uh, recommended. And uh, for uh, upgrade process of an in-place upgrade, uh, you have to kind of uh, look at both guides. One will be the upgrade guide and one is the install guide. So uh, don't get, for a clean upgrade, most of the uh, documents will be in the install guide. Uh, but more, for, for the in-place upgrade, most of the documents will be in the upgrade guide. So you will see, if you go to docs.informatica.com, you will see a um, lot of, uh, up, I mean, you'll see a guide that says upgrading from 10.1.10.2.10.3x. Uh, let me just show you that. So I just type docs.informatica.com, you go to MDM. And then here, for example, I'm in 10.4 hotfix 3. Um, there are a lot of install guides and there is an upgrade guide. So for in-place upgrade, primarily you'll be looking at this upgrade guide. Okay. Okay. 
So some of the other things to note are uh, it is better, even if you're doing an in-place upgrade, it is better to keep a backup or a snapshot of your existing system, CMX system or ORS before doing the in-place upgrade. Because as I said, uh, in-place upgrade will kind of override your uh, database and existing system, right? Uh, and the second point is um, for app server, take a backup of your standalone full XML or the standalone full HA, the primary XML that you're using, and also a backup of your existing info MDM folder. It'll be useful, and once you're done with the upgrade, you can delete it. So that it'll be easy to copy over any CMX server properties or build out properties that's, you know, uh, uh, you've added some extra properties. So in that case, uh, it'll be useful. For um, AWOS, um, you do not have to worry about running a separate installer for AWOS. It will be covered as part of the post install or the hub installer when you choose, when the prompt says, do you want to install AWOS and you choose yes. The only thing needed for AWOS is the DB upgrade. So there will be a SIP and create BPM script uh, that will, uh, it will uh, create uh, the BPM or the AWOS related tables for you when you first uh, try to install ActiveOS. Uh, if you're doing an upgrade, you don't have to worry about it. The AWOS database can be used as is. Only for install, a fresh install, you will have to run the first SIPANT uh, create ORS where you will create this ActiveOS ORS and you will run the create B SIPANT create BPM script which will create the metadata tables for your ActiveOS do not do anything for upgrade for EOS. Uh, for a um, two node cluster setup, uh, for, yeah, so, or two or multiple node cluster setup, you will first perform the installation and post install steps on first node, and then you will run the hub installer on the second node, and then choose say no to run post, uh, and then it will give you an option, you want to run post install now or later, in that pick, no, I will run it later. Copy all the certificates from your hubs, uh, from your hub server resources certificates on node one that were generated to node two, and then manually run the post install. So this way, the uh, certificates generated uh, will be in sync with both nodes, and this is when you won't run into further issues with respect to uh, the hub server or AWS or IDB, the app server related uh, application user related certificates. The next point is for um, elastic search version. Um, uh, you must ensure for upgrading, if, you, if you're if you on 623 and you want to upgrade to 686, you need to make sure that um, it contains the following properties, either a cluster name or a node, unique node name. Uh, so the from 10.3 on 10.3 hotfix 3 onwards, we do not provide the Elasticsearch installer or binaries, but you can uh, easily download it from the web. Elasticsearch is an open source community, so you can just go uh, search on Google, say Elasticsearch 686 download, and you should be able to get the same binaries. <clears throat> And uh, please use KB623061 to download any other files related to your Elasticsearch setup. Uh, there are uh, certain um, plugins like the um, Phonetic and another one uh, for um, Kurumoji for needed for 686. So uh, these uh, KBs have it, or you, if you, you can also find it on the browser, but it's better to just check this KB for your install purpose. Elasticsearch is an optional feature. You do not have to install or set it up if you don't have Smart Search already or if you don't plan to use it. Okay, so some of the FAQs are, um, can I um, upgrade 10.3 uh, to 10.4 Hotfix 2 directly or do I need to upgrade to 10.4 Base and then apply Hotfix 2? No, you can um, directly, uh, I mean, it's, uh, there is no restriction as such. Uh, you can directly ask for 10.4 hotfix 2 binaries. Even if you're on 10.2 or 10 base version, you can ask directly for the binaries and then upgrade to 10.4 hotfix 2. But you definitely have to, because you're upgrading to a major version, you have to make sure that a recommended approach would be clean upgrade. And you have to make sure that you meet the app server and Oracle and JDK version requirements as per fact.
Second is, do I need a new license for an upgrade? Yes, uh, uh, from 10.3 onwards, even Hotfix sometimes has their own license. Definitely, if you're moving from 10.3 to 10.4, like uh, uh, to a major version, you have to ask for a trace a shipping request and get a license for that version. Um, for 10.4 Hotfix 1 to 10.4 Hotfix 2, also it is needed, but it is better to um, get it from the shipping team. Can I use Third one, can I use AWOS server license for AWOS designer as well? Um, AWOS server is typically the one that you use during install for ActorWars. AWOS designer is an additional optional component that is used to customize your out of the box task workflows. And if you uh, want to you know, make changes to the existing workflow, then you would play around with designer and change or customize your workflows in that case. The designer has its own separate uh, license and you need to get um, uh, open a shipping request to get license for designer to use it. If you do not plan to customize the workflows that come out of the box with MDM, you do not need to worry about license for AWS designer. For Elasticsearch, where can I get the install files? So up till 10.3 Hotfix 2, we were providing the Elasticsearch 623 installer binaries along with MDM. So you do not have to go and look for it on the browser or web. But from 10.3 Hotfix 3 onwards, if you plan to use 6.2.3 and continue to use it, you do not need to worry about this. But if you're moving to 6.8.6, you need to go to the Elasticsearch open source community and download it from there. And also please refer to the KB article 6.2.3.0.6.1 for a further files related to uh, installation of Elasticsearch. Is it mandatory to install ActorWars during MDM upgrade in an environment that does not have ActorWars? No. Uh, during upgrade process, you are prompted to choose whether you want to install ActorWars or not. So if you do not have ActorWars and you do not plan to use it, uh, you can always skip it. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. Uh, that's all some of the questions or most common questions that we've heard from customers on upgrade and MDM. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you always on your feedback. Have a nice day.